Well, that's not great. That is supposed to be blinking. What that means is fence is off. Let's figure out why. haven't tried to get out yet, but I don't like that it's off, obviously. So let's walk around and see if we could figure out why the fence has uh, been turned off. It's grounding out somewhere. Um, either we broke an insulator, multiple insulators, or um, we got like some sticks touching it. Usually sticks don't really do it. It's probably something metal. So we've got our tools here. Let's walk around the fence and see if we can figure this out before they get out. So far so good. You really have to, uh, with these electric fences, you really have to just keep an eye on them. They are very effective when it comes to controlling cattle and buffalo and all sorts of livestock. But um, you do need to keep an eye on the uh, indicators and make sure everything is running properly. With this fence here, um, when, it's, when you set it up new and it hasn't been running for a while, there's a few things that you can have problems with. Um, you know, leaving a wire uh, that you cut when you're building it could have laid laid up against the wire or something like that grounding out who knows so um but once you once you get it all the kinks worked out with it it's really pretty smooth there's not a whole lot of maintenance on this at all but we will figure out why this is not working so a little concerning um, we just got to walk around this six acre pasture and we're looking at all these wires. We're making sure all the contact with the hot wire is making contact with the plastic insulators and nothing metal. And then uh, making sure that nothing has been broken. We've had a little bit of rain and the creek's running good. Everything's okay on this end that I can see. Got this fence completely off now, but checking this from here to here, here to here, here to here, all the way up to here, making sure none of that is making contact. All these are not broken or anything like that. None of them are making contact with the ground wire, so we're good there. Most of the time, when you have uh, problems with these electric fences, um, usually the fail points are on the corners or the braces. So that's normally where you see your problems because one of the things that happens with these is like you get these little pigtails that uh, you cut and then it might have made contact with a ground wire or something a little long or who knows. But that all looks pretty good. Found, it, found an insulator that I left on the ground when I was building it. I'll use that later. Well, there's a problem there. That's not causing it to ground out. But as you can see, you snap the insulator on that and the wire is straight up. Um, that is actually a good problem that we have with this high tensile is you can get it really, really tight, tighter than some of these plastic insulators can actually take. Um, you guys see on this, I can take this fence and I can lean completely against it. If you can see that and I can shove into it and 
like it does not come down at all it's really tight real strong but these over here these uh can i think they call them inline strainers um, you can actually tighten them up a little too tight and that's what's happened on that a little too tight the wire can take the tightness but that insulator could not so we're going to go ahead and loosen this one up maybe a couple others uh, just a little bit and then we'll replace that insulator everything looks pretty good there all in order we are about a little over halfway around the fence and I don't see anything out of order so far yeah we got a couple more broken ones here that is really brittle I think that's bad insulators what that is I don't think that's the fence problem because this wire is not that tight bet you I got some bad old insulators from uh, the store it should not snap like that All looks to be in order on that one. Don't see any issues there. That all looks good. Well, there's my culprit. See this here? Snapped it off. And then what that's doing in turn is touching that ground wire. Completely grounding that out. That is a pretty tight wire. Um, a lot of that problem is because of this ditch here. It's such an angle. I think what we'll do, we'll run up there, we'll loosen that wire up just a tad, and that will uh, fix that. It'll take some of that stress off of that wire. So we'll loosen that up, put that wire back, and as long as the other rest of the fence is good, we'll be good to go. Cool. I think that's a lot better. Some of you have asked me last time when I was tightening these, uh, how tight do I go with them? You know, what is too tight and what's too loose? If you can see in this camera, see how I'm pulling this out like this? I'm pulling it out. These fence posts are probably 20 foot apart. I'm pulling this out probably six to nine inches that's good that's a good uh, tightness if you're pulling it out a foot or more from a 20 foot distance or something like that it's, it's too loose if you're not able to pull it out very much at all uh, it's too tight this is a 30 foot gap here I'm pulling it out about a foot that's about right it snapped both of these wires but by loosening that that is a lot better. We can pull that all the way down, maybe give it, you know, five, 10 pounds of pressure. Does it feel too tight? That's where we wanna be. I always keep a bucket of these, all my extras whenever I'm building fence. Keep it a bucket of these, that way you can use them as repairs or future projects.
All right, got more insulators. Just need to put these on and then just check the rest of the fence, and see if there's any other issues. I don't know what the uh, best brand is for running these. Some people say Gallagher, some people say Red Snapper. Um, I'm not sure what the best brand is, but it's obviously not the brand that I use. Either that or they're old. I got some red snappers here I'm replacing them with. I had Gallagher's, um, but I already don't like these red snappers. They're already flexing. So I liked the Gallagher's, the ones that I used that were closer to the T-post. They had less flex, but they snapped. See how curious these guys are. Go over to the opposite end of the pasture and they want to come see what's going on. My bulls have always been, I've had two different bulls other than walking coyote. Uh, I had one, my first bull, his name was uh, Bill. <laughs> we called him Buffalo Bill. Uh, and then uh, he ended up dying of worms. I uh, had a little bit of a rough time, rough start trying to figure out how to take care of these animals. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I talk about Peter Cole a lot is because he was a huge influence on uh, our animals. He kept the 15 animals alive. He showed me a lot of what to do. So I'm indebted to him a lot and appreciate his help. But uh, our first bull was named Buffalo Bill. And then uh, the second one was uh, Gray Sky. And they have always been more inquisitive than the rest of them. And if you notice over at Dusty's channel, he's kind of the same way, uh, Cross Timbers Bison, uh, Dusty Baker. His uh, bull Dunbar and then his bull Big Joe, he's, they're both really inquisitive too. They kind of are real curious. These, these guys are the same way, walking coyote. He's always curious as to what is going on. What do you guys think, huh? What do you think, Coyote? Think that fence gonna work? I think it is. I think it'll keep them in now. Let's go check the rest of it. Make sure uh, nothing else is out of order. We should be able to plug it back in and hopefully have a charge. See them all following me. You guys have ever had uh, ducks, little uh, ducklings? They will follow you everywhere. I feel like these buffalo are that way sometimes. Well, I thought I was home free, but we got some other insulators that are broken here. I think these are faulty insulators. I never really had this problem on my last fence, and I fenced probably over 20 acres or more and uh, never really had them breaking like this. So I think that they're probably old insulators and been sitting around forever, or they just made the plastic out of something that is not very durable. So I'm gonna go up and get a couple more insulators, come back down and get this uh, in order. So I think I got that all taken care of, found a couple problems, but I think that it's uh, hot and good to go now. These guys love this wooded area here. Not sure if it's the grass that grows a little bit different or they uh, just like the shade or, or what it is. Thank you for watching guys. Appreciate you joining, watching our channel. Um, remember to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, we are trying to hit a 20,000 subscriber mark. That's uh, our immediate goal, and I uh, appreciate it. You guys would help us out with that. Like and uh, share this video. Appreciate it, and we will see you next time. That's what we're looking for. 
that red light to flash means it's running what do you guys think you gonna stay in now